So this is the new Cosmic Alpha 6 Big Leaps Forward Edition. So I downloaded the ISO file, I created a bootable USB drive with Rufus, and I'm installing this operating system in a desktop computer. So this is the installer, this is the language selection. This is the keyboard layout, I'm going to leave it as English. So here you have some options, clean install or custom, I'm going to select clean install. I'll select the hard drive, click on erase and install. I'll create an account. So I'll uncheck this encryption password is the same as user account password. I'll click on don't encrypt. Okay, so installation is complete. I'm going to restart the device. So on the login screen, there's a keyboard layout icon, there's a user icon, there's a session icon, and the session is cosmic. There's suspend, restart, shut down. So this is the doc, this is the search app, so I can search the drive for files. So for example, I'll type in a search, I'll type disk. This is the workspaces icon. This is the application launcher. So there's home. This is office. This is system. This is utilities. And this is the add group icon. So on the top panel, there's also the workspaces icon. This is the applications. This is the date and time. On the top right side, this is the power icon. And there are some shortcut keys here. For example, lock screen, super and escape, logout, super shift, escape. This is the network icon. This is a speaker icon. This is a workspace icon. So I'll open the Cosmic Settings app. These are some of the settings. So I can add a VPN here. This is Bluetooth, accessibility, desktop. This is displays, sound, power and battery, input devices, time and language, system accounts. So I'm going to select accessibility. And this is the magnifier feature, it's off. So the zoom increment is set at 50% default. I'm going to set it at 100%. So I can adjust it here. So there's zoom view moves and there are three options, continuously with pointer, when pointer reaches edge and to keep pointer centered. I'll leave it as default. I'll click on desktop, click on wallpaper. So these are some of the wallpapers. I'll select displays. There's also a scaling option. I can change the scaling option here to maybe 125. This is how it looks. I'll leave it at 100%. And this is additional scaling options.
is also X11 Windows System Application Scale-In. There's scale all X11 applications and render X11 applications. I'll leave it as default. So I'll right click the desktop and I'll select desktop view options. So there's show on desktop and icon size and spacing. So the first one is desktop folder content. This is mounted drives, trash folder icon. And I can increase the size of the icon and grid spacing. So I'll open the Cosmic Files folder. So on file, I can create a new tab, a new window. a new folder I'll create a new file so there's edit this is view so I can zoom in There's list view, grid view, show hidden files. There's settings. And on settings, there's appearance. And I can change the theme, the dark, light. I'll select match desktop. I'll click on Netbooks, and here I can add a Netbook drive. So on the desktop, I'll right-click a folder. I can select Compress, and I can zip that folder. There are two options here, TGZ and Zip. And I can also password protect that folder. I'll search for the user home folder. I'll type home forward slash and the first letter of the user, which is John. So I'll open the software apps folder. This is it here. I can click on it or I can right click and select run. So here are a list of softwares and apps that I can download, and they're listed by categories. I'll install Google Chrome. So these are some of the categories listed here. These are the installed apps. This is updates. So I'll open the media player. This is a cosmic media player. So I can right click a folder and I have these options. I'll select show details and I can open width. So I'll open the text editor. So I can open multiple tabs. I'll click on file. So there's document statistics. There's git management. There's edit. view so I can zoom in and I can also use the keyboard shortcut control plus equal I'll click on settings so I can change the team
So to open more workspaces, I just have to drag a window on the workspace area. And it creates the workspaces in order, workspace one, workspace two, three, and four. So this was just a quick overview of the Cosmic Alpha 6 Big Leaps Forward Edition. So I want to thank you for watching and I thank you for subscribing.